Before we even get started, let me know if you guys think the Gamma 1 and 2 units will be coming to the new Dokkan Fest LR Beast Gohan banner and LR Orange Piccolo banner. Let me know in the comments below about what you think, just initial reactions, if you think that they're actually going to be featured or not. Now today, I'm going to make, I guess, kind of an argument of why I personally think that these units are going to be returning for the New Year's Dual Dokkan Festival with these two absolutely beautiful units. Um, I, I can answer, I know some of you have questions. The live stream is on the 26th, uh, 2 a.m. Pacific Time, 5 a.m. Eastern Time, right here in the U.S. Um, I believe the actual... Uh, like Twitter accounts, at least the JP version, tweeted out a link already so we can see exactly when they start in your time zone. Um, maybe I might make a video for that tomorrow, right? Because tomorrow will be the last day before. But regardless, we have the Beast Gohan and Orange Piccolo here. And I think these two are actually going to have a fair shot of actually returning to these banners, like I said. I have a couple of examples kind of supporting this theory. So, these units obviously were featured on their initial banner. This is the only banner they've been featured on, which is the, you know, the Gamma 1 and 2 banner, right? This banner is actually a pretty solid summon. These four units were good. You know, this guy, I feel like all three of these guys even are on, like, are definitely in consideration for easing within the next year or so, right? Especially this guy. I think he has a good shot of easing now, right? So I want to say, even if these guys are featured on these new banners, don't feel discredited if you did summon. This banner was definitely, I feel like, really worth your stones. But regardless, the thing about uh, these guys, obviously that banner, I guess I should have kept that up. That banner was at the end of October, right? You know, the 20th of October, the 27th of October for Global. So it's like, okay, are they really going to return two months after their initial release? I think yes, right? Again, we have plenty of examples, as you can see here. And I'll go ahead and just start talking about them and showing you why I believe that they are returning. First and foremost, we do have this. I think this is the best example, probably. Physical Goku Black, right? So this Physical Goku Black on the GP version came out on the 20th of October 2016, right? Literally, pretty much just the same day as these guys did come out. What was that? Goodness, that's six years? Oh my god! Wow, I'm old. I'm just kidding, but six years, that's, that's a crazy long time frame. But this guy came out the same day they did, which was, again, pretty crazy to think about that. Um, that this guy's basically over six years old now, right? But it, it do be like that. Um, and he had his initial Dokkan Festival banner in October. I remember this banner was just the biggest bait banner ever. I mean, <clears throat> again, Goku Black... It wasn't too recent in the anime. This is the first like actual Goku Black unit we got in the game. So people were very excited about him. He was uh it was not bad on release. He was pretty solid, right? <clears throat> but um it's really funny or uh, unfortunate for a lot of the people who summon on this banner. Because if you take a look at the next month, literally one exact month after, we had the Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black banner. Like this banner left, like two weeks before this banner came back and this guy returned <laughs> <coughs> oh my goodness so sorry if i cough a little and stuff i'm gonna cut there i am low-key just like a little um my throat is really sore <laughs> it, it's that winter time you know but we gotta keep these videos coming on my bro for real. But yeah this guy came back a month after his release literally two weeks after his banner left this banner came out on he like it was actually on a new banner so i feel like that's a really really like probably the best reason why i would anticipate this guy to return or at least the gammas to return on these guys as banner because this dude is like showing what they did back then <clears throat> they could return these units whenever they really want to and you know i don't even think it would be as bad like when if you summon on like then okay i can't even speak <clears throat> If you summon on this banner, I don't think it's as bad, you know, with them returning here than it was on this banner. Because this was back to back. This banner, like, uh, this banner just, like, creams on this one. <laughs> just very unfortunate for this physical Goku Black. 
But yeah, that's one example we do have of, you know, units just returning really, really quickly on just a featured banner again. Dude, this banner was insane. Goodness. Like, back in the day, you had Omega, Buhan, Rosé. Woo! That was crazy! You had the full extreme class lineup, bro. That's... Oh, that's great. Even Zamasu wasn't bad. Uh, Goku Black, obviously, too, right? This physical one. Woo! It's quite nasty. Um, next we have this banner, Jiren, right? I guess I had the banner split up, but <clears throat> we'll have Jiren here, right? So Jiren came out on August 20, no, April 25th, my bad. Uh, this was on the UI Goku banner, right? Oh, yeah, because this is TUR, right? <clears throat> Remember, his SSR came out, and he didn't have a Dokkan Awakening, right? Is there a way I can click on this? <clears throat> you can see, his SSR came out on the 17th of um, March, which was obviously the same day banner, right? So you can see he got his Dokkan Awakening on the 25th. Now, I feel like this is a little, just a teeny bit different because this is like him without a Dokkan event. Then we got his Dokkan event a month later with the Blue Evolution Vegeta. But I feel like it technically still does count. Yeah, I, I do technically feel like it still counts because it's still Jiren. This is Jiren's debut banner, right? They brought UI Goku on here and this is when UI Goku got his Dokkan Awakening, right? You see he released October 7, 2017. Then all the way back here, basically after the, you know, UI Goku, full UI Goku form was released, or I revealed in the anime, we got his, you know, Dokkan event uh, in game, which is pretty cool, right? Um, That's kind of what happened to Jiren, but not really, because his Dokkan Awakening, we didn't even see like full power Jiren. It was just this normal Jiren. Um, but yeah, he did return basically a month after his initial banner. You can see right here the 17th of march and then the 25th of april so both in 2018 that's another very key example of hey you know they could just return a unit whenever they want whenever they please right and you can see there's a key correlation right goku black was ongoing with the anime he was a brand new anime character just straight from the gates we had um <coughs> Jiren returned very quickly. You know, there's another character that I didn't even think of at the top of my head. I will bring him up right now. Physical Vegito Blue, right? Uh, Physical Vegito Blue, he came out on his initial banner. If we <clears throat> if ever loads, hello, okay. <laughs> if, if you take a look right here. Physical Vegito Blue. Uh, dude, that's, he's on so many banners, goodness. He came out right here on his initial banner. I, I think it's this one. We'll just click this one. And then he came back on the Sword of Hope Trunks banner very quickly, right? The November 17th, right? Same as the Rose banner. And then right here, bam, <clears throat> we see in December on this banner, the New Year's banner for 2016, we return on this banner. Even EJ Rose, right? Then he returned very, very quickly as well, right? I mean, these guys have been on a billion banners, right? Yeah, he was on this banner in November. Then he was on this New Year's kind of step up banner. And then he was on the anniversary banners, right? So again, they return these units very quickly because not only are they good, they're just brand new characters, brand new hype, right? Very exciting. And then the last case and point I have is Angel Golden Frieza. <clears throat> this guy came out on the 29th of uh, September 2017, right? You can see he was on his initial banner right here on the 20, um, 2017, the September 29th date, right? Very easy to see that, right? And you can see here, he returned on the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock banner literally, what is that, two months after? So, again, brand new anime characters usually tend to come back very quickly. I think that's going to be the case for the Gammas, but I don't know. Those are just examples I want to bring up. I think it did deserve its own discussion video. Um... If you want to see like my general thoughts of what the overall banners could be like, I do do a video early with the Mass Ningen. Check that out. It's on the video. Uh, it's on the channel already, I mean. But let me know what you guys think. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you next time.